An emitter is an object that spawns liquid. The liquid object has one emitter by default. You can move the emitter and change its form, providing it is still inside the liquid container. To create a scene, place the emitter into a tube and reduce its size. Then, set the initial velocity. This arrow shows the direction of the water flow, and the speed with which it will be spawned. A longer arrow means more initial speed. Start the play mode. You will see, that the liquid spawned by your emitter explodes upon appearing. Don't worry. It can happen, if the emitter is too small, and there is too much liquid. To fix this, change the volume per sim time parameter. After that, the flow will normalize. You can also adjust the initial velocity to regulate the initial speed of liquid flow in real time. Exit the play mode. Set the volume per sim time and initial velocity parameters. Now, let's finish the scene. To do this, copy the emitter's component. Create another emitter. Then, paste the component values. Place the second emitter into a tube. Adjust the volume per sim time and the initial velocity parameters. After that, add the second emitter to the manipulator's list in the Zibra Liquid Object Inspector. You can have multiple liquid objects in the same scene with different lists of manipulators. Right-click Zibra Liquid Object in the Scene Hierarchy window to create another emitter. Note that if you create an emitter this way, it will automatically be added to the manipulator's list of the selected Zibra Liquid Object. Set up the emitter. Copy the third emitter to add another one to the scene. When you copy the emitter, you need to add it to the manipulators manually. You are all set. Launch the game and check the result.